Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world and Yeshua HaMashiach name. All glory be given to Yah for he is worthy for every single thing that he does. Every single thing that he wants. Everything that he will do. Everything that he has justified and set in motion of all his creation for he is a great God in all of his standings. Bless Yah name and Yeshua HaMashiach name for he are worthy. For he is worthy. We also call him Jesus Christ, your Lord, your master and your savior. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to his creations for we are his creations, family. All glory be given to his might for there is no one more mightier than him. All glory be given to his righteousness for if he wasn't righteous, we would know nothing about it. All glory be to his abundance of his love, for his love is why we still here and he, he given us his time. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. Peace and blessings be upon you all. It is your brother Jehosa Yah Israel in the sanctuary tonight. All glory be given to Yah. A thousand blessings be upon you all. It's your brother. What is good, family? Family, real quick. Why do I love Yah? Off the top of my head, he has created me. I don't I don't understand why people can can live and don't understand that they have a soul family. You know what I'm saying? They have a soul. Now, it says in the Bible before time, before time and animals they used to talk, family. You know what I'm saying? Adam and Eve was talking to some animals. So as you look behind a dog's eyes, there's still a soul behind there, family. You know what I'm saying? It's a soul. It's a creation. You know what I'm saying? It is something. So I don't understand why people don't understand that they have a soul, family. They have an actual soul that it comes from the Father for He has created it. I love Him because He made me to praise Him. That's the only way I can live, family. It was what I was made for, family. I was made to serve the most high God, family. Yeah, family, I was made for it. You know what I'm saying? He specifically made, I, okay, ain't nothing special in me. He made everybody to do that. But I understand in my life, family, that he made me to serve him or I would not exist, family. I wouldn't even exist, family. So he's still giving us a chance down here on this earth. I love him for all the things that he has done for me, family. It seems like to me in my life, I can't do a, I can't do enough for him, family. And any good standings of anything that he would like your brother to do in this life, I want to be all up on that. I thank him for what he has already done for me, family. What he's preparing for me to do in the future, family. What he has already done for me, family. The love that he gives me, family. I cherish it, family. Each and every single day of my life. I, I, I thank him for just listening to my prayers, family. He actually cares, family. Like, you got people inside of this life that care about you, but don't nobody care about you like God, for he has created you. Now, I can say that to the masses of the multitudes of the people of the earth, and they hear it, but they still won't understand inside of them, whoever they might be, wherever they might be at, the all being, the all powerful loves them, family, loves them and cares about them, family. I thank him for answering all my prayers, family. I thank, his, I thank him for his hands of protection, family. Family, you know what I'm finding out in life right now, family? And from what, what, I, have, what I have learned, because you know, this your brother, we apply all the things we learn. So, and, it, and just like I told you, the Bible changes you, family. It changes you, family. The word of God changes you, family. So, what I have found out, Jesus, he said, it's good for us to do things for people who cannot repay us. Okay, we talked about a little bit of that this week, family. Either it be kindness, love, and compassion, family. So as I look at these things, family, I'm trying to I'm trying to put these things out, but then and, and, and then it turns around, it turns around to this. It turns around to this. Now, I know that. Whatever I go through, my father is going to make me stronger behind it. 
Now, I used to run from that family. I used to run from it. I'd be running. I'd be like, oh, no, Satan. Oh, he coming. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. I'd take off running, family. I'm all the way down the street. Oh, was he coming? Did we see him? Was it Satan? It was Satan. Did I tell you, Billy? It was Satan. Yeah, it was Satan, man. Was, oh, we got away. Oh, we got away. Yeah. He missed us this time, family. I'd be running like a mug, family. I'd be running from him, family. I'd be running him. And when you run from Satan, you get no power because it leaves you a coward, family. It leaves you a coward because it takes away all your strength and he know it family he sees it in your eyes family so i was so scared at all so terrified i take off running out i don't want to do nothing with the oh no 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 oh satan back up satan what is it damn you just called me what you want now damn oh no. i'm scared i'm scared satan you scared me okay boo ah boo ah okay you got me damn leave me alone so i'll be running from him family i'll be running from him family but what i learned in now family from what my father says, anything that I will go through, he will use it for my benefit. So as I look at Satan now, I'm only strong as who he sends, the strongest that he sends after me. And I'm not running from it now for I know that my father is going to strengthen me just by I told you. I told you spiritually, spiritually, it's like Dragon Ball Z or something. Family, it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like Dragon Ball Z or something on the spiritual level, family. It is, family. So. Okay, anything that your brother Jehoshaphat go through, all that bad stuff that I go through, family, he's going to turn around and use that for my good to make me even stronger, to make me even better. Damn, family, I don't want to say that I'm lead majors and I'm the $500 million man, family. I don't even want to say that, family. You know what I'm saying? You be like, oh, you the bionic man, you, you, you lead majors, you can run 60, 75 miles an hour, brother. I'm just saying, family, this is how it works spiritually, family. So any encounterments that I get in with the devil, family, God makes me stronger after that, family. Now I'm looking at it like, darn. I can only be as strong as what I'm up against. So I'm constantly looking for spiritually something to get into now so I can grow even more, family. It's crazy, family. It's crazy how I look at it, family. Back to this. And, and this is the same standpoint of what the Lord said, family. Doing Okay, now I'm doing these deeds. So I don't. I don't, them, them people can't pay me back. You know what I'm saying? Bless their heart, family. Bless, bless all of their heart. All of them. You know what I'm saying? All of them. Because it wasn't about me. You know what I'm saying? It was about the kind act that they needed in that given sense of time, family. They needed that. So it was never about me. But at the same token, family, they can't pay me back. It's nothing they can ever do for me, family. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. You you see what happened, family? You see what happened? The the rich man called all the people in. He called all his homeboys. He called all his home girls, family. And what they say? What they say? Oh man, tell the uh tell the king I can't I can't make it to the party, man. I can't even make it, man. I just bought these acres of land, man. I gotta make sure everything is good. You know what I'm saying? The servants go over to Waukesha. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I can't make it. I just got married to my husband. She can't even make it, family. She can't fat banquet and everything, family. Full of everything, family. You know what I'm saying? Eating for days. It's like Popeye's chicken, hometown buffet, pizza hut, family. You know what I'm saying? All of the, the Chinese food restaurant, all in the same joint, family. All live music and good wine, family. I'm talking about good times, family. Go back to his uh, his other homeboys. Oh man, I I can't do it, man. I'm, I can't my, my, I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it. You know what I'm saying? So what the king do? He said, you know what? Go out into the hallways and the byways and find all the people that ain't got nothing. And bring them in, family. Bring them in, family. He sent his mans out there, family. They went out there, get out all the poor people off the street, all the hungry people, the people who ain't got nothing. The kids said, he, what? We Free food? We eating? Okay, we coming. You know what I'm saying? We got free food. You know what I'm saying? We coming. We eating. What? What? Where? He, they, they brought all the people in, family. It still wasn't enough, family. It still wasn't. He was like, man, we need to fill this house up, family. We used to have a big party up in this mug, family. The king knew, family. They went out, family. They got even more people, family. Brought them right back to the king's house, family. All them people in there drinking and dining and having, they don't even know each other. All these poor people. You know what I'm saying? Living it up at least one time, family. At least one time, family. But the king, he knew, family. He knew. He was like, man, none of these people can ever pay me back and God is going to bless me even for... Even more foe because they can never pay you 
back, family. So as I'm looking at these people now, I'm like, damn. You know I'm counting all the bad ones, family. You know I'm counting and I'm praying for them, family. That's the best step to love them. That's the best thing I can do to love them, family. Is pray to the Father, family. And don't hate them, family. For the evil that they have upon them and the evil that they operate. And they just can't give in to the love. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's all right. Do you need a hug? You know what I'm saying? Do you need a lifting hand? You know what I'm saying? Do you need a pat on the back? You know what I'm saying? Do you need your brother to lift his hands in the air and tell you it's all right? You know what I'm saying? They, they, ain't, they ain't got them damn scorpions, family. Them damn snakes, family. They ain't got it, family. They up over here striking and hisking and striking and hisk, hisk, hisk. I hate this damn love. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You keep your damn love, Jehovah. You keep it. Hisk. I don't want it. I want it. I don't want your damn love. You keep your damn love. See? Them damn snakes. Them damn scorpions, family. So I'm up over here, family. I'm up over here spiritually out in the world, family. And um, I'm counting all the ones that don't receive me, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I looked at it today. More people receive me. I feel bad about it, family. Do you understand where my mind state is at spiritually, family? I got it set at the people because... More of them was receiving me, family. I'm looking for the downtrodden, family. I'm looking for the wicked, family. I'm looking for those out there that need that help, family. They ain't got it, family. They need to see the love. They so mad. I don't want a damn love bag up. Bag up. I burned the hell forever. Forget it. You know what I'm saying? We can do it now. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got it. But through us, they will, family. They will. I promise you will. I don't have to put my master's name behind that, family. So as I'm looking at my day. And me going through my life, family, I'm actually a set to that I was received more today, family. I'm not trying to be received <laughs> at all, family, because once more again, I gave them something that they can never give me back again, family. They can never, they'll never see me again. They'll never be able to give it back. Oh, damn. I only had one chance. One, two, three, damn. I blew it. See? See, family? That's what the Lord done taught me. And this is how it's pulling over in my life spiritually, family. I'm out here looking for, I'm like, man, I'm not even going through nothing right now. The devil not even messing with me. This is a problem right now. I need to have him messing with me so I can get stronger. <laughs> I need to be going through all these different things, family, so I can get, so I can learn and get more stronger, family. That's where I'm at right now, family, spiritually, family, straight up, family. Straight up in my life, family. I was very upset about it today, family. I was looking at it. I was like, oh, man. What is this? I think these are all the lessons that we went through on study. So give your brother a second. And we're, we're back at it, family. We're back in the sanctuary. And it's still the same what we're learning, family. Now, as you look at the Ten Commandments, family, let me make sure I don't phase out over here. Now, as you look at the Ten Commandments, family, that is good, family. That is good, family. I stand on that, family. That's part of the laws that we have to carry, we have to follow, we have to teach, family, and we have to live, family. Is that Jesus Christ? No, it is not Jesus Christ, family. You know what I'm saying? It's not Jesus Christ, family. It is not, family. But Thou shalt have no other gods before me. I'm pretty sure if I have another God in front of God, he going to be mad at me, family. He going to be mad at me. Do you see where the laws is good at? You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not make any graven images and not bow down to them or serve them. I'm pretty sure, family, if I go up in them temples and y'all know what places I'm talking about, we ain't got to say no deities. But if I go around them people, and I start eating up they idle food. Yes, it's 2019, but ain't nothing changed. This is ceremonial mankind down here upon this earth. Now, I can go up in them temples and start bowing down through that. And I will piss the most high God off, family. I will piss him off, family. I know that, family. What did the law say, family? I ain't supposed to be going up over there making no great. I don't need no Jesus peace, family. I don't need no Jesus peace, family. Jesus inside of me, family. I'm supposed to be acting like Jesus. I don't need Jesus on the outside, family. He's on the inside, family. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't need no. If you come to my house right now, family, 
If you come to my house right now, family, can I stop it real quick? Family, can I stop real quick? Family, side note for the afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. Family, you know you got the Holy Spirit up in the building. Family, when you be all alone, family, all the doors be closed. Family, everything cl cut off. Family, all the doors, all the windows closed. Family, you in that room all by your f all yourself and you will feel a gust of wind come up in there, family. All f right by your body, family. The Holy Ghost is in the building. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah. If you didn't know, now you know now, family. Now you know now, family. Side note, yes, it is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, Holy Spirit in the wind. Family, I mean that, family. You, you, you be praying and stuff, family. You be talking to y'all. You be sitting there. You be like, yeah, I love you. And yeah, or, or you don't even have to be praying, family. You can just have him on his mind, family. You know when the Holy Spirit is in it. And then some of the people, they be like, oh, you terrified me. You scared me. Stop the whole thing. I'm so scared. I don't listen. That don't that scary movie. No, brother, it's the Holy Spirit. It's all to the good. You know what I'm saying? It's all to the good. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? When he comes in your presence, you will know it. It'll be a gust of wind, family. I'm just saying in your house, family, ain't no windows open. Bro. And brother, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no windows. Ain't no AC on, brother. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of that stuff going on in your house. You know the temperature going on in your house. You know what I'm saying? I just told you, family. All the doors and windows closed and everything. Family, here come through like a gust of wind, family. On you, family. Side, you, you ain't got to believe me, family. For spiritually inclined to scare people over there. Oh, I don't want to know the truth. I don't want to know the truth. Family, I told you, family. I told you, family. The Holy Spirit ain't playing with you like that, family. Hey, Jesus is the only one that's going to forgive you. <laughs> The Holy Spirit ain't going to forgive me like that. I got to get my stuff together and be right for him to be around and to dwell with me at all times, family. He's not playing with you, family. I told you, family. I told you, family. You talk about God and he going to tear you up, family. You talk about the Holy Spirit. He going to kill you, family. Yeah, Jesus is the only one that's going to forgive you. <laughs> Once more again, you don't have to believe. You don't have to believe. Side no for nine. Yes, ma'am. No, yes, sir. Holy Spirit in the wind. Family, I said that, family. People is not going to believe that, family. They're going to be like, oh, Jehosa, you know I halfway believe the Bible, brother. You know, brother, I look at the Bible and it say all that stuff, but I just don't believe it. I don't believe I don't believe in speaking in no tongues, brother. I don't believe God give people wisdom, brother. Nah, nah, brother, no prophecies here, brother. No prophets made service and service. No prophecy. Oh, man, dreams, dreams, Jehosa. Nah, 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 Jehosa. I just see the Bible as it is, brother. It don't even, I halfway believe the Bible. Family, y'all gonna have to really start believing what Father said, family. I told you, family, we gonna tell you, we gonna teach you every single thing that he teaches us, family. I can't do this by myself for I am not alone. I'm not talking about my kingdom. I don't have no kingdom like that. For my father is great, I don't have to worry about being great. Do you understand what that means? My master is holy, therefore I will be holy. But my father is great, family. My father is worthy. I don't have to be, family. For if I was a man in this world, I would be trying to be great. I would, family. I would be trying to be just like all them other people, family. I told you, the father, he has been in my life. Beat me down, family. Beat me down. I'd be running. I, I told you, I'm not running from him no more. I'm like, yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm older spiritually, family. It's been a long time coming. But when I was in them 20s and all them other age, I told you I was running, family. I was running, family. He throw his rope around me, family. I dip to the side, family. He throw this other rope around me, family. I dip to the other side, man. I pull out my little binoculars to make sure the devil is right where I seen him last, but he always move a couple steps, family. I be running, family. I was running, family. I told you I know to. Family, I was running, family. Your brother was running, family. Okay, family, let's go ahead and get into lessons and preaching for tonight. All glory be given to Yah. All my brothers and sisters, go ahead and throw your hands up. 
Father, we come to you tonight as humble children upon your earth, and we thank you, Father, for all that you have done for us in this day, Father, for you are a great God in all that you do. Father, bless our heart, Father. I ask that you bless our minds, Father. Bless the fruits of our mind, bless the fruits of our body, but bless our heart, Father. Let us build up more entangled love wrapped around your love, Father. We, Father, we in your spider web, and you the spider, Father. We in your spider web, Father, and you the spider, Father. We ain't going nowhere, Father. Please keep us close and tangled to your heart of all your truth and all of your might and all your just of what you want us to do in this life, Father. For you are a great God of all that you do. Thank us, Father. We thank you for being our Father and being with each and every one of us in our lives for all the great things that you do for us. Father, I ask that you bless their sons. I ask that you bless their daughters. I ask that you bless their husbands and their wives. Their whole household are covered in the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach. Father, we also call him Jesus Christ, Yah. Father, I ask that you give them favor beyond of what they need. I ask that you bless them in abundance. I ask that your hand of protection be on them. Father, I ask that you heal them, Father. I ask that the light that you have put inside of us grow and outshine the darkness that's in this world, Father. I ask that you be with us always, for we are your children, Father, and we come to you humbly, Father, submissive to your will and your love, for we love you, Yah. We love everything about you. We love you, everything you stand for. You are a great God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus Christ, Father, for you are a great God. All glory be given to you, Yah. All glory be given to you, Yah, for you are a worthy God. Bless all my brothers and sisters out here in the world. All glory be to you, Father, for you are worthy. All glory be given to you, Father, for you are a great God, and you are worthy, Father, in all that you do. Blessed be your name forever, Yah, for you are worthy. Family, you can go ahead and put your hands down, and thank you to all my brothers. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yah. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are a just God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Bless all my brothers and sisters out here in this world and this dark, Father. They need you. We need you, Father. We need you every day, Father, strengthening us for we know you exist. We know you here with us for you, a great God. All glory be given to you. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters who have prayed for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hands in the air again. Thank you, family. Thank you, family. Now. Now, family, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord God in vain. I know God don't want me cussing him out, family. I know I know my father don't want me to have all that foul stuff inside of me and then it be directed towards him, family. I know he don't want me to do that, family. But once more again, it is in law, family. Part of law, family. Honor the father and the mother. Why do you think, family, why do you think people wasn't doing that, family? It's bad, family. When Moses came down and God put that on the Ten Commandments, he had to tell him, family. He seen the bad kids out there being all bad to their they mama and their daddy doing whatever they want to do, family. He was trying to save them, family. Because they could catch a brick, family. They could catch some hot ones, family. Because the kids and the people didn't want to do it. Thou shalt not kill. They was family. 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 Look at your people now, family. Do you think they know the meaning of thou shalt not kill, family? Your brother's out here killing people over colors, family. And they the same people, family. They killing each other over colors, family. You understand that, family? They're killing a person over a color. Now, I don't know if these Hebrews know this, but before God put anybody here, there was colors. You know what I'm saying? It was colors. So I don't know why you would kill somebody over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm red. I'm blue. I'm crib. I'm blood. I'm C Street. I'm mobile. I'm this. I'm that. Man. You know what? I wish your government would give all Hebrews a gun. I, I, that's the great equalizer, family. I bet you I bet you Hebrews would not be dying over no damn shoes or no damn colors in this damn country if black people was able to protect themselves no matter where they was in this. I bet you all that would change fast in a hurry, family. Do you understand that, family? Do you understand how fast black crime would change, family, if every so-called African-American in this country was able to protect themselves against other African-Americans, family? I'm sorry. It, it is what it is. Check this out, family. White people need protection from other bad white people, family. I'm just saying, family, white people are killing white people all the time. Bad white people are killing good white people, family. They, it's sad, family. They're killing the good white people we need. You know what I'm saying? We need these white people, but the bad white people is killing them, family. 
I'm just telling you some real family. You don't have to accept it. You don't even have to like it. But look at look at Hebrews in this country, family. Bad Hebrews are killing good Hebrews, family. Look how fast it would change up in this country, Donald Trump. Trump, please, <laughs> please forget a martial law. You know what I'm saying? Forget a martial law. You know what I'm saying? Trump, Trump, ah, Trump. If you do this one, I will vote for you. <laughs> do you know the gun is the great equalizer, family? It is, family, across the board, family. Do you know how fast Chicago would change if all the Hebrews in Chicago could protect themselves, family? Do you know how it would change, family? But nah, 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 nah. Ain't nobody trying to hear that, your president. No, Donald, I'm Donald Trump. He's not trying to hear that, family. Why is that? I told you, them numbers gotta stay down, family. You'll overpopulate this month. Now, it's sad, family. It's sad, family. I was thinking about it the other night, family. I can't even pour out my liquor to my Hebrews. I taught y'all. Y'all pour out liquor to the most high, Yah, and your finest. I'm going to have to go pour out some liquor to the most high, y'all. For this is sad, family. That's that's sad, family. But just like your brother Jehoshaphat Israel said, family, if every Hebrew was eb able to protect it, uh, family, family, I'm just saying, family, good Mexicans are dying by bad Mexicans every single day in this country. Do you understand that? You know what I'm saying? The good Asians is dying, family. The good Asians is dying, family. And they'd be like, oh, Joe, oh, so you do it too. I love my people. My people out here dying. You have lost your damn mind. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better get some get right and act like what's going on up over here. How much would it change, you know what I'm saying, of every Hebrew was able to protect himself, family, protect him self family okay let's get back into it for tonight family because i don't want our time to to run out here in the sanctuary but all glory be given to y'all family and you know your brother i love you family i love you for sitting there and having love for the most high y'all i love you for pouring out your heart on yeshua on jesus christ i love you that you have the holy spirit dwelling inside of you you know it's the truth as I'm sitting here telling you these words, you know with the God that lives inside of you, you know I love you. So I'm not really worried about anybody else, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, family. When I first stepped here up on YouTube, family, I, I was, but then again, you know what I'm saying? I'm like that in my in, in my life, naive, family. I thought all my people want to love God, family, at least half of them. I thought all my people want to change. I thought a whole lot of different stuff that I'm not seeing now, family. All I see is hatred, family. I stepped up here thinking that all my brothers would at least some of them would be my friend. Hell no, nah, family. Okay, let's get back into this. Now, number six. Family, I ain't even worried about it. I have my yah, family. Ain't even worried about it, family. I got my yah, family. Now, thou shalt not kill. Family. It, it, family. When Moses came down, he said, man, y'all gonna have to stop all this, man. This is some madness up over here, family. We're not talking about the, the people getting stoned or nothing, family. He wasn't even doing that yet, family. You know what I'm saying? About all the killing, family. And then they'd be like, oh, Moses, who are you? You killed the Egyptians. How you going to try to tell us not to kill nobody? But I bet you, I bet you when they seen y'all resting on that mountain, I bet you they shut up, family. Number seven, neither shall thou commit adultery. Ooh, do we got to get into that one again, family? You should not, family. Family. See what I mean, family? See what I mean, family? Look, look, look. It's part of the law, but people, they ain't doing it, family. They, I want a D. I want to sleep with somebody. I want it on a damn love. I want to have two, three, and three, four, five, ten, fifteen, girl. Man, fam, man, really? <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that, family. I just don't understand. You know You got to write it down, too. You shouldn't be sleeping with that, that woman. You shouldn't be sleeping. That's Hey, that's not your wife. You know what I'm saying? That is not your wife. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> you sleep with my husband. You don't even see that now. You see cheaters. They be beating up people with bricks, family. They be having all kind of stuff, family. That'd be the moment right there. That'd be the moment right there. They'd be on their little dinner date. They roll up on them with the camera and everything. What is, get this damn camera out of my face. Girl, get this damn, what is this? What is this? Get this damn camera out of my face. 
Hebrew, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. She caught you, brother. She caught you. I don't get it, family. How these brothers have all these fine sisters, brother? These fine sisters. I mean, fine. Fine. <laughs> and just let her go, family. Just let her go, family. You just let her go, family. I'm looking at her family. I see watermelons. I see apples. I see cherries. And he just let her go, family. Just let fine, fine sister, strong sister. Did y'all see the sister when the dude grabbed her across the counter? And she was letting get it. Get, what? Don't stop the sister. Let her keep on going. Then you'd be like, oh, that's wrong. You shouldn't put your hands on a woman. You shouldn't put your woman. How you like that? You shouldn't put your hands on a woman, and the woman shouldn't grab a man's Johnson. And we be even. <laughs> Jehosa is in the building. Now, never, neither shall they steal. Family, I was a thief, family. I was, family. I used to be stealing all kind of stuff, family, from a young age. I'd be getting all in kind of trouble, family. You think after all them ass whoopings, I'm going to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> them white people be trying to help me, family. It don't even, family, it didn't even matter. Family. They be like, I try to reach my hands out, family. I be like, white people, help me. <laughs> family, why you can't beat your kids down like you used to? Family, why? 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 Neither shall they bear false witness against their neighbors. Now, Okay, I might have been a thief, the family, but we ain't got to lie on nobody. <laughs> we ain't got to lie on you lying on your neighbors. Yeah, they did it. Yeah, it was Reggie. I see them do it. Okay, neither shall they desire their neighbor's wife, ne neither shall they covenant their neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his ass, or anything that is thou neighbor's. Now, all of these things are good, family. They are good, family. Now, will a person be able to do all of the laws? No, family. They won't be able to do it, family. Why is that, family? Because we're men and we're women, family, and we born in the sin, and you, you're not, we're not perfect, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, family. We up on that 80, family, running up on that 90, family. We running it, family, but even if you get to the 90 and the 80, you still going to slip, family. Once more again, I do not want to call God a hypocrite. You can never do that, family. There is nobody who is perfect, family. You be looking at all of them people, they be all like, well, I'm a vegetarian. Well, I live in the mountains and I don't even know what crime is. And not even them people, family. You can't even name a person, family. Family, even family, family. Let's get real, family. Even, even our special people, even them, family. Even they mess up, family. I'm just saying. <laughs> And you be like, you wrong, you wrong, you wrong. And they had a bad day that day, family. They sinned, family. I'm sorry. We only men and women down here on this earth, family. You gonna slip, family. What did your brother say? How far is you gonna fall down the damn ditch? If God give you a rope, is you gonna crawl out of it? Or are you gonna stay down in the ditch again? Is you gonna climb to the and slip back down again like Daffy Duck? What you, what are you doing? But, ah, oh, that's people now. Let me make sure I got my pen. Today, family, I think it's the 24th. I think it's the 24th, family. I could be mistaken, but it is Monday, family. It is Monday, family. Monday the 24th. Okay. Now, what, what is, what, what is the law, Jehosa? What is the law? A man's covenant to Yah. So as you look, as you look at all the laws, family, statues, limitations, family, that would be like a covenant, family. That, ooh, father, I'm going to try my best to do these things. You know what I'm saying? It's a man's covenant, family, to God, family. Those are not my own words, family. Go ahead and turn to the, go to the book of Galatians, family. Still in the book of Galatians, family, chapter three, family. Yet the law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having, having 
become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is is everyone who hangs on a tree. That is the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ's name that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. So look at, look at, look at how, look how Yeshua, he would look at that family. He'd be like, man, they under that law. They can't do all of that stuff by themselves. And you know, remember we talked about it, family. A person can't do all of those things, family. Now, and some of us who are good, family, and we're using these, all of these laws to build up. You still need them, family, to build up morals and characters and ethics, family, of, uh, of how to treat people, of how to live, how to conduct yourself in life, family. That's what it is, family. So as long as you, and you live in by those things, it builds up good conduct in a person. But that good conduct, just like we said, family, that good conduct is not going to get us in heaven. Now, Jesus, he looked at them like, man, they curse, man, they curse. They got all them rules and they can't follow them like that. You know what I'm saying? They got all them rules like that and they can't follow them like that. And I died to lift that curse from them and they don't even want him, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. That's why your brother tell you, family, so many different good people are burning down there, family. Because they didn't want to have faith. They was like, well, you know, I don't want to believe in Yahshua. And I just want to live my life. As long as I live my life good, then I'll be all right. Mm -mm. It don't work like that, family. You got to have both, family. Now, am I saying that after you, you, get, the, after you get the Holy Spirit, right? And you have the image of Christ in you to where you have Christ with you. You got Yahshua with you and you live in it. Do you still need the law? I don't think so. But you know the law. You know what I'm saying? It's in you. You know, you know it then, family. But the people who don't, family, that don't have those righteousness of all those things that they have to have to build themselves up, to be on the right standing, to take in his Holy Spirit. That's what we're talking about, family. So what was said? Yet the law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. Christ has redeemed us from the curses of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Verse 14, that the blessings of Abraham might might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. Only way you're going to get his Holy Spirit is through faith, family. Through faith. There's no way that a man can obtain that grace from the law, family. Family, and then, like I said, family, even, even there is no one who can all the way do that. You know what I'm saying? There's no one who can do that. 100%, family. 100%, family, without falling off, family. It's impossible, family. Only y'all can do that. Okay, let's go ahead and go to um, still on chapter three. Now, chapter 19 to 21, family, what was the purpose of the law? Why does it exist? So let's let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? As what the scripture said, you know what I'm saying? You see what I labeled it, but it's still of what scriptures say, family. What is the law? You know what I'm saying? What is the existence of it? Why does it exist? I already told you, family, to get a person on a right standing, to walk upright and just and take all these good principles, all these good morals, all these good ethics of how a, a righteous person should be it's about it family what purpose then does the law serve uh chapters 19 to, through 21 what purpose does then does the law serve it was added because of transgression till the seed should come to whom the promise was made and it was appointed through angels by the hands of a mediator. Verse 20. Now the mediator does not mediate for only one, but God is one. Certainly not. For it, for if there had been a law given which could have given, I'm sorry, could have given life, truly righteousness would have been by the law. 
it is no way a man. You know what I'm saying? Even, even, okay, now let's take, let's take Yeshua out the picture. Let's, let's just go back to the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees and just the regular people family that, that lived in the Praveloon family, all the different workers, just our people family. And even though family, they had the law and all the statutes, family, they still commit sin, family. If that wouldn't be as so, they wouldn't be sitting there sacrificing all them goats, all of them cows, you know what I'm saying? All of that, all of them, them ox and, and bulls and rams and goats at the altar, family, turtle doves, family, they wouldn't be doing all of that, family. And the ceremonial ritual of the cleansing the blood for the sin. Now they could not recognize, family, that Yahshua came in and he was going to make that sacrifice for them because he kept on saying, tear down this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. So now the mediator does not mediate it, mediate it for only one, but God is, is one, certainly not. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, truly righteousness would have been by the law. There's no way a man can do that. Them people were sinning, family. They was. That's why they was doing all of that stuff. Oh, I need a peace offering. Oh, I got to get some get right. Oh, well, you know, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I don't I don't have everything. Priest, uh. Well, well bring, bring me back some grain. You know what I'm saying? Bring me back some grain and bring me back some flour. And we're going we gonna to put it on the altar and burn it. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I don't have anything. Go give me some turtle doves. You can't give me a goat. You know what I'm saying? They was into that stuff, family. They've been, they was doing it for a long time family they did not want to give up that stuff okay i want you to go ahead and bump down to chapter 23 now i labeled this one what do the law do for us now i'm telling you we're gonna go through all of it family we're gonna go through all of it family all of it to break we have been breaking it all the way down family precept upon precept of what is given, family. But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterwards be revealed. Therefore, the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. So I stop right there. Now, let me get some water real quick, family. Now, we're not even going to talk about the different sets and we're not even going to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? It was so many of them like that, family. You know what I'm saying? Um, was it the Nazarenes? You know what I'm saying? It's, hey, you know what I'm saying? We ain't even going to talk about that. Let's talk about all of them together, family. All of our people together. And just by them sticking to the law, family. As soon as they heard about Jesus, as soon as they start seeing him and all the things that he was doing, family, as the Messiah family, they, they what they believed in built them up with the righteousness already, family. Now all they had to do was have faith in him, family. That's it, family. That's it, family. Now look at Hebrews today, family. They say, they say they knew, they they say they know Christ, but they don't want to do nothing that he's asking them to do. That's why I'm asking you still. There's still a lot of stuff that we have to do, family. Just because, just because, he, and then he got his own laws of his own. Now, y'all remember that that big old list that I pulled up? I'm pretty sure half of it is his, family. I'm pretty sure, family. But you got to remember one thing about the master. Whatever his father said is the same thing that he told us, family. So he basically telling us the same thing that the father told us all over again, family. And they'd be like, no, he not. No, he not. Read, read, read it, family. You know what I'm saying? Study it, family. Read it and study it, family. I got several, several. I got, uh, is, is it a whole decade I got under my belt now, family? Read it and study it, family. Even though I got that, family, we, this don't stop, family. You know what I'm saying? So read it and study it. If you think I'm playing with you, how is it any different when Jesus is going to tell you the same thing that his father told you the first time? And if you're walking in love, you'll be able to do it all. Without love... First of all, if you ain't got faith, you ain't going to be able to do it. And then if you ain't got love, how you going to be able to do all of that, family? 
If you don't have love, you will never be able to please Yeshua. You won't, family. If you don't have faith, you won't please the Father, family. Straight up, family. Now, let's get back into this. Now, what purpose of the law, why does it exist? What purpose then does the law serve? It was added because of transgressions. No, we already did that one. I'm sorry. We're down here on 24. Therefore, the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. We justified by our faith, family, in him, family. In him, family. I can do all that good stuff all I want. It's not going to mean that I'm just like that, family. I told you, it's a lot of people down there, family, that you can say that they, I can't even really, they thought they was justice, but the only thing that we can be justified by is Christ because he did all of that stuff for us. What did he do? What did he do? The ultimate sacrifice that nobody could never do for you in this lifetime. Because even though, even though somebody could die for you, they could not get you into heaven, family. They couldn't, family. Therefore, the law was a tutor to bring us to Christ that that we might be justified by the faith. But faith has come. We are no longer under a tutor. Now, when you get the Holy Spirit, family, when you get the Holy Spirit, family, and you really wouldn't need it like that. But them other people, they need it, family. They need it. And some people, they be like, well, you know, I don't need it like that. I got Jesus. Okay, okay, brother. Okay. But you better be doing what the Holy Spirit told you. You better be doing everything that's righteous, family. If you say you don't need it, you know what I'm if you say you don't need it, you better be doing everything holy and you better be doing everything righteous. And you better know all those things to do. But you should. You should. But I just see so many of them say that they do and they fall short and they go all the way back to whatever they was before, family. Okay, you can't have one without the other, but you can only be justified in one. Go down to stand, go down to chapter 5, verses 11, family. I'm sorry, verses 1, family. Now, by faith, but faith has come, I'm telling you, without, without the laws, how can they get to him like that, family, of being righteous? So at some point, family, at some point, family, they will, at the beginning, they need it, family. Can't have one without, you can't have one, what was written? This is what I'm saying. You can't have one without the other, but you can only be justified in one. Stand Fast, therefore, in the liberties by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. What is the bondage, Jehosa? All them laws that we can never leave. We we could try our best to we're gonna try our best to do all of them, family, but we're men and we're women, family. Gonna come up short, family. I'm not giving you a pat on the back for doing sin, but we as children of Yah, family, we feel bad for it. We ain't trying to slip like that. I don't want to make God ashamed. I don't want God being ashamed of me again, family. You know and I, so I'm backing away from all of that, family. We're not trying to give in to it like that, family. That sin, family, entangles, entangles with a yoke of bondage. Indeed, I, Paul, say to you that if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify again to every man who becomes circumcised that he is a debtor to keep the, the whole law. You have become entangled with Christ. You who attempt to be justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. So you seen what you seen what Paul said to him. He said, man, you up over there trying to you trying to follow all the laws, man. You ain't got to get no circumcision, man, because th this is what it, this is why he went to the church of Galatians. You know what I'm saying? This is why he went over there. You know what I'm saying? To tell them, you know what I'm saying? Because at that time, 
they was looking kind of sideways at each other, family. You know what I'm saying? They was looking kind of sideways like how you go be like us. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We supposed to be Hebrews up over here. You know what I'm saying? You, we teaching you how to be like us, and then we don't even want you around. You're not even good enough to sit out our deep our dinner table, but we teaching you how to be, to serve our Yah, and we don't want to be your brothers. So it was some, some goings on, family. It was going, it was some goings on, family. Can't even pull your brother, your brother Gentile up to the dinner table like we serve the same God. Paul all up in Asia, family. Paul all up in Asia with the word, family. I told you, family. Yeshua picks those for a reason that can get his job done, family. Family, the devil wants you bad than a mug, family. I'm just saying, family, sister, do you hear me? No, Jehovah, he doesn't want me. Yes, you do, family. He gave you, God, God gave you all them skills. He gave you all them many talents. I bet you, yeah, she would want you then. Okay, by faith has come. We are no longer under a tutor. You can't have one without the other, but you can only be justified in one. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberties by which... So, you, you have that going on in the church, family. You know what I'm saying? You got that going on. Then you got the other brothers up over there. This a grown man. He's like, man, I'm 40 years old. I got to get a circumcision. Man, I'm going to be hurt. Oh, Paul, what I'm going to do? Uh, and then you know them damn Sadducees and them damn Pharisees, they be running up in there. You gotta follow the law. You gotta follow. They, you gotta follow. And they ain't even following it, family. They ain't even following it. Because no one can follow it all the way like that, family. They have the form, family, but they do not have the image, family. You know what I'm saying? They have the form, family, but they do not have the image, the form of righteousness, but they don't have Jesus' image, family. They ain't got it, family. Up over there trying to lay snare and traps you gotta be doing this and you gotta be doing that and if you don't do this and then uh, the, the, the poor the poor gentile brother oh paul i'm 45 years old and i love ya now and they told me that i got to get snip snip paul i gotta get snip snip paul i can't do it i'm too old my leg hurt i can't do it and then he was all like man What's more important? <laughs> but this was what was going on, family. Background, family, of what's going on, family? A why? You don't want to come to the dinner table. How you going? Hold on. You going to teach me how to love y'all and you ain't doing it. Family, family, I'm sorry. The apostles at a point, they was over there acting like the Sadducees and the Pharisees. That's why I have to, Paul had to come through, family. Like, nah. Nah, brother. Nah, brother. I put my shoes on the same way that you do. I love y'all the way that you love y'all. We brothers up over here. Don't make me pull out. Timothy! Timothy! Titus, where is you, brother? Did they receive you? Did you receive us? Did, did Titus, what happened? Did, was they listening? Yes, they was listening. They, they heard. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have to stop being all fake and phony like that. We all children of y'all down here, family. It was some going zone, family. Okay, now, let's get back into this. Now... Chapter 5, verse 1. You can't have one without the other, but you can only be justified in one. Stand, stand fast, therefore, in the liberties by which Christ has made us free. And, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Indeed, I, Paul, say to you that if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify again to every man who becomes circumcised that he is a debtor to keep the full, the whole law. You have become entangled from Christ. You who attempt to be justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. You understand, family? Only faith don't get us, family. We need the faith to believe. I told you, family, they up over there. They say they believe in, in Yahshua all day long, but they ain't got no heart, family. They ain't got no love, family. They ain't got no compassion, family. And they hiss just like they daddy do, family. They do, family. Hiss! Hiss got no word of love. I don't want no peace. I want to see it. Family, just like that, family. You see him, family. Part of our family. What is today? February... February 24th. Family, family, family. 
I know now, family. I'm telling you, family. The devil, he, he family. I gotta be so good, family, that it, it, he he really be he really be on me. And family, if I drop a paper off the out my pocket, family, I might have like ten police up on me, family, because of him, family. This ain't no damn game, family. Do you understand who I am, family? You know what I'm saying? He on me, mad at him. Like, Why you teaching them? What you teaching them today? You gave some damn love, but you forgot my father with me too. <laughs> Okay, I feel very comfortable about this. I can put my initials on it. Let me change up my pick to make sure that we don't run out of time, family. No, we don't run out of time. I told you, family, this list is long, family. You see it, family. Woo! That's a lot, family. That is a lot. And you know we have already been through all of this several times, family. Do you know your brother have taught you all of this several times, family? Several. This is what Jesus said. This is what Jesus Whoa. Oh, we better not be doing that. <laughs> Oh, Jesus told us to do it. <laughs> I'll be on you, family. On you about the Lord. I'm not playing with you. Yeah, I feel comfortable. We did that one. Now, family. Now, I would just like you to just sit back and listen to one of my 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 writings, family. And when at the beginning, when I started this this part of being in the sanctuary i was just ripping from what i wrote family you know what I'm saying? i was family because that's how i feel family it is family but listen family we ourselves battle this flesh and we are at war this is not a fight where you can win or lose and walk away with a victory and if that is the case it will be simple but life is not so simple. When, when we war against the flesh, not giving in to oneself, desires, or expressions of evil descent, by choice, this war we live and we fight is not a game of chess where one player wins and we set the game up to play again. This is war. You only get one chance to win and to the victor, the spoils of war, everlasting life and the presence of he who lives forever. This is a war that at times seem to be never ending. So we have no time for breaks when we must stay on the guard, ready for the next attack. When war attack when war is being raised over your soul and all of eternity facing oneself as a traitor that is against you winning against you winning this war allies with sins and the flesh both fighting at us from each side to give in and to give in and throw in the towel to su surrender oneself to the pleasures of one's heart to have them blinded with the things in this world that calls out to some so many people to fight for what is theirs and to be counted with the world to be burned with it. We must stand on a ground knowing that this life we live, we live to get to Yah's greatness and, and, and not a fight. It is not a game, but indeed, we are on a never-ending battlefield advancing life to gain the victory of our life, to win this war by overcoming the sin in, in the world and the guilty pleasures of one sin. We can't fall asleep or go on vacation or give up on our fight. In this life, we must fight to win, for hell has conquered many lives, and sin has destroyed so many. For if this was a fight, you could walk away. This is war for your, for your life. It is only one way you can win. So I told you, family. I told you, family. I told you, family. What God put on my heart of what the, of what the apostles said, family. You know what I'm saying? Of what they said about this family. I, I, in my life, family, as I looked at it, family, I just looked at it like it was just a fight. Oh, we boxing. Oh, we boxing. Oh, well, you know, this is, you know, we playing Nintendo and this is Street Fighter. You know, this is, this is, we playing Atari and this is, this is Pac-Man. No, family. No, family. 
Mm -mm, it ain't like that fighting this evil like that. We are actually, I didn't know that the war was so much, family. I didn't, family, know of how many different powers are raging on this world for all these different souls to be won or to be lost, family. And the battlegrounds that we stand on, family, is not a game like that. This evil is not playing with us like that. This evil really hates us, family, and wants to see us burn away from our father. So it's not a game, family. And as I and I look at people and I watch their they lives get thrown into the blender and then they get chopped into little pieces. But I knew if they would have if they had good pieces that God would have had them playing with down here on this on this war, family, if God would have gave them, but they never asked him, family. And they never wanted his strength, family. And we all know, family, if you don't got what it take on the battlefield, if you ain't got the right stuff, family, they got AK-47s and the other side got slingshots, family. Who gonna win, family? I'm just saying, y'all ain't, ain't on the other side. David's not on the side with his slingshot, family. It's just regular farm people, family. Straight up farmers and people who work at all these different places, family. Come on now, family. How they gonna win, family? He wants to give us the things that we need in this war to win for this is not a game. And, this, and these demons, family, that's out here destroying so many different lives. And then they don't even see the spiritual warfare on their very life, family. They take all that bad in and they claim every single bit of it, family. They can't even see outside of themselves of what's happening to them, of forces and powers that's coming to them. These, these are people that's not doing these things to themselves, family. So as I look at this battle that we in, I, I no longer see it as a, a game of chess with the devil. Mm -mm, I don't see it as me playing chess with him. Mm -mm. I'm not sitting up over here playing dominoes with the evil demons. I'm not I'm not doing that, family. We're not playing Monopoly with Satan, family. This is not no damn game, family. We ain't playing no damn Street Fighter. This ain't no damn Pac-Man. Go put your Natari up, family. This ain't no damn game. You know what I'm saying? This is not Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? It is not, family. You know what I'm saying? This is the real thing right here. And we only got one chance, family. Now, you have heard several many times before, run a good race. Okay, we racing, and this is a race, family, but you got to understand, we racing on a battlefield, because just like our road, family, we are steadily advancing, family. We, we can't take no steps back, family. Take too many steps back, family, you might fall in the pit, family. This ain't no game, because this evil want to take us out, family, any shape, any form, any way that it can, family. And I'm talking about the principalities. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about evil manifesting itself and somebody life trying to take them out, family. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you can't really see that one. So, just like I said, family, this is war, family. We at war, family, and we got to win, family. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my people have been injured for too long, family. Even if we got to be, family, if we got to put a, 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 a tunicate on your, on your leg, family, and get back up out there, family, and keep on running, family. We can't fall behind, family. We can't, family. We cannot, family. We got to stand up and fight, family, for our soul, family. But with this love and this faith that our master is asking us through all these different things that we face out here in this world, family. And I told you, family, you're going to have to have some works, family. Okay, let's get back into this. Now, after this one, family, it's the, it's the last page, family. Last page of everything that was said. But you know, family. You know of where, where, we, where we leaned on, family. Of why the law is so important to man, but at the same time, the law is not going to save you. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to build you up. It's like building the mind of the temple. You know what I'm saying? It's like building the temple up. Hallelujah, family. Building the temple up, family. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who will be coming at this nine o'clock prayer hour. I want you to come with a humble heart, with love in your heart and obedience and submission to your father. I want you to let go. I want you to let your mind go with, with you talking to your father. Ain't nothing too big. Ain't nothing too small. But we need to let him in, family, in all shape forms. For my brothers and sisters who are not accustomed to this nine o'clock per hour and you just hearing about it right now. You know saying? You come give me your 10 minutes on your knees for you are not alone. You are with the children of Zion across this whole world that is praying with our father.
across the whole world so you are not alone. Bring your worries. Bring your strife. Bring your love. Bring your prayers to untrap, to untangle, to unsnare these people in the world that went through the things that God set you out of bondage out, my brothers and sisters out there in the world. I want you to pray for your families. I want you to tell Yah how much you love him and what you are grateful for. I want you to spend some submission time with us. This is a holy, sanctified hour each and every day from Sunday night all the way to Friday night, family, six days a week, family. I want you to come get you some. Come be a part of Jesus' family. You know what I'm saying? Come be a part of Yeshua's family. Come be a part of Yeshua's family. Do you understand that? Okay, last page, family, and I'm going to go ahead and get out the sanctuary for tonight. Once more again, I'm sorry I didn't know what the day is, but it is Monday. It is. It's got to be the 25th. It's the 25th, I think. And write that down. It is the 25th. 25th, 2019. Okay, I want you to go to chapter 5, verses 13. Now, I labeled this. If you have these things operating in, in your life, you cannot have faith. So I, I really mean that, family. If you have these certain things in your life, you don't have any faith. If you're this certain type of person, how could you have faith inside of you to have faith for God? So as long as you ain't one of these type people and doing these type of things, then you should have faith inside of you. You should be building up on your faith. You should be building up your faith and your fear to the Most High God, family. Building up faith and fear, family. So, shouts out to all my brothers who will be coming to the 9 o'clock prayer hour. Shouts out to all my sisters. Shouts out to all my family out there in the world. You know your brother. I love you. Family, I don't even do this for free, family. I do this for the cost of your love, family. Do you understand that? Now, so what did I label it? If you have these things operating in your life, you cannot have faith. Let's go ahead and go up to chapter 13. Okay, now, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this, you shall love your neighbors as yourself. Family, 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 is they doing that, family? Is it not hard to do that? You know what I'm saying? That's why we need Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look what the laws. Let's, let's go back to what was said, family. Look, family, get real, family. Get real, family. Not everybody wants to love. People carry hatred and, and it's all kind of stuff. It ain't nobody trying to be perfect like all like we are, family. You know what I'm saying? Let's get real, family. Let's get real, family. I, I wish, family, I wish everybody in my neighborhood acted like me, family. It'd be the most peaceful neighborhood ever, family. You judging, you judging, you judging. Come to my neighborhood at 12 o'clock and you say that. I don't even think you would do that, family. People in my city, they know what it is, family. <laughs> okay, now, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even, even in this so, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Who can do that, family? Who can do that to all their neighbors, family? I'm, I'm just being real to you, family. Being real, family. Some of your neighbors hate you, family. We just went over to the Ten Commandments. Some of your neighbors want your wife, you know what I'm saying? Some of your neighbors want your husband. Some of your neighbors is lying on you. Some of your neighbors is trying to steal from you. So how are you going to do that, you know what I'm saying? We need Yahshua. Hallelujah, you know what I'm saying? We need him all the time. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your son. Master, thank you for your father. Father, Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for your shining your love. Father, open up your heavens to all my brothers and sisters out here in this world. All my moms, my dads, my little brothers, my little sisters. Open up your heavens, Father, to us, Father. Shower down all your many blessings upon us, Father. For we are deserving, for we are great stewards, Father. Shine down your blessings upon us, Father. I ask in Jesus Christ's name. Now, so how, how, 
How people gonna do that, family? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, family. Some people can, some people can't, some people have a problem with it, family. That's a tough one, families. How they gonna follow all the laws, family? All the laws is bottled up to what what Paul said. What did he say, Jehoshaphat? Brother, what did he say? For all the laws is fulfilled in one word, even then even in this. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. Okay, I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Okay, number uh, verse 15. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. I don't have to say a man reaps what he sow. I ain't got to say that, family. I ain't even got to say that, family. I ain't got to say that, family. But look, look at the church and at this time, family. Look at the church and what the church, the members was doing inside the church, family. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. That's what the people was doing inside the church, family. Now, let's go back to Hebrews own, in, in North America. All oh, the, the legends of black people in this country. Oh, God bless them. So you got black people in this country. Now, you ask me if your fellow and brothers... Don't be off of no verse 15. But if you bite and devour one another, beware, at least you be consumed by one another. It's 2019. Do you see that happening now? <laughs> I'm just saying, family. They don't say, family, they don't say crabs in the barrel for nothing, family. We'll never be no crabs. But you see how your brothers is. Verse 16. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of of the flesh. So as long as I can walk in my spirit of my faith for my father and my spirit, my spirit is telling me to, what to do, what to do, how to do it, what I better not do. And I didn't already put the programming in my spirit of what I'm going to be doing, family. You know what I'm saying? Putting my spiritual armor on. So my spirit already knows, family. You know what I'm saying? It already knows, family, what I'm trying. So I'm trying to walk in is Jehoshaphat, you can't be doing that. Jehoshaphat, don't be thinking about her booty for more than 10 seconds. Jehoshaphat, turn the other way, Jehoshaphat. Nah, Jehoshaphat, that doesn't seem good. You know them Hebrews over there, they up to no damn good, Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, now you know that if you can just be a little bit nicer than be... The spirit, family. The spirit, family. Directing our footsteps on all the right paths of what we supposed to be doing, family. I'm just following, family. Yeah, what you? He don't even gotta tell me two times. Do this, okay? I'm doing it. He don't gotta tell me two, three times like that, family, unless I'm running from something. Like I've been running from this prophecy, but I still gotta get on it, Father. Please forgive me. Um, verse seventeen: For the flesh lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you you want. You wish. Let me stop there for a second, family. You see some people, family, they completely gave in to anything that's on their lust, family. They gave into it, family. You you can't be half buttoning it with y'all, family. You either is or you not, family. You know what I'm saying? Them people, them people over there that's fighting with their flesh, family, they're giving into it, family. These two things, the spirit is contrary of his flesh, family. The spirit is automatically fighting against his flesh, family. It's, it, it's the reason why we why we resist him, family. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's contrary of the flesh, of the sin, family. Every time we try to do some sin, you better not be doing that, Jehoshaphat. No, Jehoshaphat, that's not good. Jehoshaphat, you know that's not no right. Jehoshaphat, you know that's all deep. The spirit, family, it's going to have us not giving in to that flesh like that. Let's keep going. For the flesh lust against I'm sorry, for the flesh lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do things that you wish. I, I don't do them things that I wish like that, family. That's I'm good, family. I'm cool off of that, family. My spirit said, no, family. That's not good, family. It's not clean, family. That's not good in any in any shape, form or fashion, family. But but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fondication, uncleanliness, lo lowliness. Now lowliness, family, that's like doing sex things that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Bad sexual act. I mean, just nasty stuff. And then being, 
it, it, it's like in between of of adultery and fornication because it's dealing with some nasty sex family lewdness family is some nasty sex you see them nasty people family god don't want us like that family you'd be like i'm a freak i'm a freak i like all that nasty stuff you're gonna have to stop that you're gonna have to stop that brother i don't care about what what them other people saying or nothing sister sister you're gonna have to stop all that freaky kinky stuff i'm sorry oh you don't need to go to them stores nowhere i'm a grown Man, family, and I ain't never even been in one. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't need none of that stuff, family. Let's go back up. Adultery, fondication, uncleanliness, lowliness, uh, um, uh, ide ideology, idolatry, sorcery, out outburst of of wrath, selfish and amb ambition, dissension, heresy. Envy, murder, murderers, drunkenness, and revilers. You know them revilers, they always keeping all them secrets and snitching all that snitching family. Ambition family, too much ambition is too much for God like that family. When you have too much ambition family, they be going over the top family. They do family, they be going over the top and they be doing some things family to get what they want family. And they be like cutthroat family. Cutthroat to get to the uh the CEO role, whatever it is. Too much ambition is too damn much, family. Well, um, dissension. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank of what the definition of a dissension. What does that mean? Dissension. Dissension. Hold on, family. Hold on, family. Outburst. You see, family, some people can't even control themselves. They be having all them outbursts, doing all of them different things. And it goes back to the same, family. It goes back to the same. If you practice any of these things, I know we went through all them different scriptures, but once more again, this is precept upon precept. I had to read all that to you to read this to you, family. So, ad adulterers, fundicators, uncleanliness. What, is, what does uncleanliness mean to you? You know what I'm saying? What is it? What does it mean to you? Uncleanliness. You know what I'm saying? That's a nasty person right there. They can people can sit there and say, oh, you judging, you judging, but God said to judge yourself, family, so he wouldn't have to judge you. You don't want him judging you, family. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to judge yourself. Okay, now uh Lloydness, I told you that was some that was some like some nasty, perverted, some nasty things. I should not have to say them things for you not to know what they is. And I told you, family, them people can't keep themselves out of them stores buying all of that stuff, family. Hey, family, that family, it's too much, family. Even even God saying that's too much. That's too nasty, family. It's just too nasty. Now, he was just telling them people that don't want to clean their house that that uh cleanliness they don't want to do it family so why would it be any different with with the sex and then people be like well god can't tell me how to have sex or nothing like that okay then you're gonna burn for it then what do you think you know what I'm saying what do you think what is what is uncleanliness means to you family lloydness lloydness According to Legal Dictionary, the Free Dictionary, behavior that is deemed morally impure or unacceptable in a sexual sense, open and public indecency tending to corrupt the morals of the community, gross or wanton indecency in sexual relations. An important element of lewdness is openness. Now you see the LGB community. That's what we talking about, family. And when they do that stuff and then they bring it back to their house, family, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you can think I'm going hard, but you heard what Google said. You can't get mad at me, family. You can't get mad at Google. and you can't, First, you can't be mad at God. Then you can't be mad at Google. And you definitely can't be mad at me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hey. Sorcery. You see them people, they be up over there practicing all that black magic and rich, witchcraft, family. If they practice sorcery, they ain't got no faith in God. Outburst. Of wrath, selfishness, ambition, dissension. Dissension. Here's the definition of dissension. Disagreement that leads to discord. Now you see them, family, they, they, they always, always right. They want to argue. They want to fuss. They want to fight. Brother, put your hands up. Nah, hell nah. It was five dollars and 
doesn't matter. It doesn't even want to matter. As long as you ain't one of them. A heresy. Heresy. Here's some listings for Harrison within oh. two miles. Heresies. Here's the definition of heresy. Belief or opinion contrary to orthodox religious, especially Christian doctrine. So you see them people who do not want to, we can just throw the atheists on that one. You know what I'm saying? They do not want to believe in Yeshua like that. Anybody like that, family. Envy, murderers, drunkenness, revilers. These who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of Yah and have no spirit by faith. If you practice these things, you you are operating in faith by the spirit. Now, let's let's switch up, family. Let's switch up. Now, if you use any of these, any of these things by the spirit, then you are operating in faith, family. And what did your what did your brother tell you, family? What Yeshua wants you to be is every single thing that this world does not. I'll give you an example. Love. This world does not want you to love. People in general outside don't want you to love. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't want no love like that. You know what I'm saying? So if you practice these things operating in faith by, by the Spirit. Hold up, I'm sorry. If you practice these things, you are operating in faith by the Spirit. But the the fruit of the Spirit is love. Number one. So if you have love and you walk in love, you are walking in faith because the fruit of the Spirit is love. Number two. The fruits of faith. I'm sorry. Yeah, the fruits of the Spirit is joy, family. Joy, family. If you don't have no faith in you, if you don't have that spirit inside of you, family of faith, family, you ain't got no joy inside of you. Number three, peace. We walk in love. We walk in joy. We walk in peace. Number four, long suffering. Family, I already told you at the beginning of this. How can I learn anything if I'm not going through it, family? Long suffering, family. Number five, kindness. I told you them people who are drunkards and revilers and have outbursts and sorcerers and evil. You think it wouldn't be no sorcerers? Yes, it is. Family nowadays, family, calling pot and everything, bones all at the bottom of it. Family, they over there looking for some new frogs to buy. Family, so they can cast some more intations. Family, drunkenness, revilers, unclean, loitness, dissension, heresies, and idolaters. They don't. They don't have joy, family. They don't have love, family. They don't have peace. They don't have long suffering. They don't have kindness. Number six, goodness. Family, they don't got it, family. They, they just ain't got it, family. You know what I'm saying? They, you would think the drunk person would be happy, family. No, family. He's always trying to fight, family. You know what I'm saying? Number seven, faithfulness. Family, if you operating in the spirit, family, on faith, family, you are faithful. I'm faithful. If family, you can trust me, family. You, if you came up to one one of your brothers like us and you told us something that you needed our help, and be like, well, Jesse, I need you to be there at seven thirty. Guess what? We there. We know, we know you needed our help, family. Even if you can't even repay us, we're very faith. We have faithfulness in us, family. Number eight, gentle gentleness family i have god's spirit in me so i try to be gentle now as you look at people today you show me a people gentle uh-uh if they if people was gentle family there would no it would never be a world star hip-hop family people would never say this when somebody getting their butt whooped world star you wouldn't even hear that family you wouldn't even hear it if people was gentle, family. You wouldn't see none of the shows with the people on the subway fighting. This is my space. This is my space. This is my space. Because people would try to be gentle. Number nine, self-control. Family, we got self-control, family. You see them people, they just are bursting evil, screaming, yelling, family. They be doing all of that stuff. We're working on, we're working on self-control over here. You know what I'm saying? So what was all the fruits of the spirit? Love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law, and these who are in Christ have crucified the flesh, it, it and possessions and desires. 
If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another to envy one another. When you see your brother or sister following, lift them up with love. You have to bring them up with the compassion that was placed on you. So, family, okay, now we went through all of it, family. We broke down all of it, family. Full book of the Bible. We broke all of it down. We explained it. We preached on it. I ministered on it. I gospel. I, I did all of that, family. It's all to the good, family. Is your brother caught up? Uh uh. Because as soon as I'm finished with this studies, I got all these other studies, and then my father just going to bring me some more studies, family. He is, family. He is, family. He know I'm not playing, family. You know what I'm saying? He know I'm not playing like that. So I want you to think about that, family, of everything we preached on tonight. And I want you to hold fast, family, to the Holy Spirit and all the righteousness that he has put inside of us for us to operate, to do the things that he want us to do and live the lives that he want us to live. Is the law important? Yes, it is. Will the law get you into heaven? No, it won't. What will the law do for you? Make your image more like Christ to accept him. Because you're already doing the law. You're already doing what God wants you to do, family. You need both, family. You need both to get us to the point to where Yah is, family. So I just had to pull forth all of this studies and all of this research and all of this gospel and other spirit, family. For your father is a good father. And you know, family, we'll be back, family. We'll be back. I made sure I did it early tonight, family. But your brother, I got to go ahead and get up off of here. Make sure you come meet me in spirit, family. Come with your joyous spirits. Come with the pleasureness of your heart, of all the fullness that God has made you a truthful being in this given sense, pouring forth to your father. Just give in to a little bit, family. Don't be scared of this, family. Just give in to a little bit. I told you, you part of this ministry and I'm asking you something now. I'm asking you, you know what I'm saying? I'm asking you, I'm requiring this from you now to come to this nine o'clock prayer in your own home or in your own places, wherever you might be. Brother, I don't even care if you at work, brother. Pray at work, brother. Sister, you at work at nine o'clock. You take you take five minutes. You do your job and you pray inside your head. You pray to the most high God, wherever you might be. If you on a truck driver, you on that road and you taking a long haul in, you take your time and you pray that that whole time. Clear everything out your mind, but just yeah. And you pray to him at this nine o'clock to be in spirit with all your other brothers and sisters who love the most high God the way that you do. All your brothers and sisters across this very face of this earth that love Jesus Christ the way that you do. Now come be in spirit. Your brother, I love you, but I got to get out of here for tonight. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. All glory be given to Yah. Until next time, family. Until next time. A thousand of his blessings be upon you all. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy.